In these perilous times, see from current events how biblical prophecy is coming to pass in front of our eyes. You're watching In the Last Days, the program that looks at Israel and the end times with teaching from a Hebraic perspective. With Martin and Natalie Blackham, thank you to our friends and partners who make this program possible. Now, here's Martin and Natalie. Hello, my friends. It's wonderful to be with you again. My name is Natalie Blackham. This is In The Last Days TV program, and it's a pleasure to be with you today. And we are bringing you news and interviews from the land of Israel, which is just a wonderful place, a glory land, we will say. And today I invited again Karen Hannah Pryor to come and to share a bit more. Last week we spoke about, you know, the importance of uh, the land, and the, and the country and the scriptures. And today we are going to go a bit deeper in the scriptures and she will be able to lead you in all these things. Uh, just to remind you a bit, to refresh you, uh, Karen Hanna was born in South Africa. You don't have too much a, a stronger accent anymore. No, my, oh. my family were from England, so it's oh. probably a little more English, but then I was living in the States with Dwight for many years and being in Israel, so it's a bit of a mishmash. <laughs> <laughs> As accent. many people in Israel. <laughs> As <Yeah>. many people. <laughs> so, um, okay, we can just start, I think. We are ready. Um, <laughs> thank you again for coming, You're Karen, welcome. and uh, you can it's give a us... It's joy. I, I know last time we finished mm -hmm. on, on the, the subject of Hebrew and why that's uh, such an important factor of what the restoration that God is doing in Israel, mm -hmm. restoring the land, restoring the people to the land, and restoring the Hebrew language. Um, to the people, and not only to Israel, but we're finding that 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 uh, the church worldwide, mm -hmm. those who have ears to hear and and mm -hmm. see what God is doing, um, there's such an interest in Hebrew that that they, there's a longing for people to to learn Hebrew. And why is that important? Um, number one, as we said, uh, on a physical level, it just connects people. It enables people who are coming from every different country, whether it's uh, India, China, Argentina, France, uh, South Africa, that, that, that if they, they have their own languages, but Hebrew is a way of mm -hmm. connecting mm -hmm. people. Then on a spiritual level, of course, it's... it's um, the Hebrew has been preserved, the Hebrew scriptures has been preserved in its entirety through the careful work of the Torah mm -hmm. scribes mm -hmm. that um, after finding the Dead Sea Scrolls, now they've been able to examine, for example, the, the, the most complete scroll was the mm -hmm. scroll of Isaiah, mm -hmm. and they've been able to compare it with the Torah scrolls and the Hebrew Bibles, and it's exact I mean after thousands of years that they, it's been so carefully um, preserved, preserved and, and written that, that, that it's it's um, almost 100% accurate mm -hmm. so it's going back to the source of the scriptures and and for example all the English Bibles they translations and and you lose something in any you translation so I mean we have thousands of Bibles and and the translation is wonderful you know thank God for translations mm -hmm. but at the same time they, they, something is lost in translation so to be able to go back to the Hebrew scriptures it's just wonderful and it's just such a beautiful and amazing language I mean I always encourage people please just start even if you start with a few words just start with the Aleph bit mm -hmm. because every letter has mm -hmm. such beauty and meaning and um, so it's just right very exciting. I'm, I'm just going to say, uh -huh. li little advert, as, as you speak about the Aleph Bed, this is the book that I've done now a few years ago, but because it's so important and we start somewhere, and you're right, the Aleph Bed is, is the beginning. So it's written very simply, it speaks to you about every letter, and uh, it's just a starter book. And I've done it especially little saying, this is not for experts. You love God, you are a believer, you believe in the God of Israel. Here we go. This is the beginning for Hebrew. That's wonderful. And, and it's, we need to start somewhere. Yes. 
Yeah. Yes. And if, if you are interested uh, as well in um, just a very simple beginner's Hebrew mm -hmm. free course mm -hmm. on uh, the website, his hyphen israel.com yes. which is Karen's website <laughs> yeah. and she does a beautiful work and I've looked at it and I've learned a few things there and you can is tons of information and again it's on the way for us to learn yes it's another way just to do in your own time just safe and fun mm -hmm. and but at the same time beginning to get a, a grasp mm -hmm. of the, the Hebrew language um, yeah, yes. so shall we, uh, there, there's some, we, we had a few examples here just while I was thinking about this today. And um, just to show you some little examples of, of just the amazing things they are to discover in the Hebrew language. Now, when, when God, uh, when Moses asked God, who shall I say is sending me? when God called him to go to Egypt and he gave him, the first time God actually gave himself a name. Mm -hmm. which was the Tetragrammaton, which was yud heh vav -Hey, mm -hmm. of uh, I will be who I will be, mm -hmm. that he, I was, I am, and I always will be. There's so much tied in with that name. But um, I'm not sure the best way for you to see this, but let's put it on here. Are you able to focus in on that? And there you see the four letters, the yud Hey. Vav Hey, written in Hebrew. But now if we go back to Genesis, mm -hmm. one of the, the first and most important things we are told at creation is that God created human beings in his own image, mm -hmm. right? So I realized that if you take the name of God that he gave, let's see if we can do it like this. And you take the little yud, the yud actually fits here over the head. Mm -hmm. Yud. Take the hay. You have the hay on the shape of the arms. Take the vav. The vav is the straight backbone of the person. The last hay, sorry this is a bit wobbly, actually there's a little break there, mm -hmm. but there you see very simply, but you see even on the human form, you see the yud, the hay, the vav, the hay. So we are each walking representatives of the name of God. Beautiful. That wherever we go, I remember Dwight used to say, you know, that, that even the angels, when they saw a person approaching, they say, step aside, step aside. Here comes somebody walking in the image of God because we're carrying his image, we're carrying his name with us. And how we behave is, are we making a, a Kiddush Hashem, mm -hmm. which is uh, sanctifying. Gl gl sanctifying, glorifying his name, or is it Chilul Hashem? Are we desecrating his name because we're even just carrying his name with us Beautiful. as we Beautiful. go? <laughs> I thought Beautiful. that was nice. It's so true. And, and again, you see for our life, like how babies are important. Mm -hmm the fet fetus even in the, yeah. in, in the mom and, and again how we have to behave with each other mm -hmm. and when we know these things you see I'm, I really I'm looking now for seeing that more and more in the church in the, in the Sunday school or Shabbat school <laughs> Saturday school <laughs> however you want to mm. but like in, in the school the Bible school for the kids because they need to know that and again yeah, you see imagine. when you speak about are you half a man half a woman no you are made in the image of God right. you are a boy or are you are a girl yeah. and and God make you in a beautiful way mm. and it's not confused you know what what he make you you are who you are yeah. and I think if we can see honor that because it's it, it, every human being 
is carries this image mm -hmm. and this mm -hmm. name. And so if we can always remember that, no matter how deeply it's hidden, mm -hmm. and honor that person that you respect them mm -hmm. because they are made in the image of God, mm -hmm. it's, it's a very important... Which is interesting thing. because it reminds me a bit of uh, Mary Teresa of Calcutta, oh. her sister of Calcutta, which is funny, but in a way it's not because she wanted to give the dignity to yeah. everybody. And this is because she knew that we were made right. at the image of God. So we're right. coming back to this, to this right. thing. And I'm just thinking of, remember when Jacob had fled from the land because Esau was going mm -hmm. to murder him. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was out of the land and he came back 22 years later with his family, with all the goods that he had acquired. And he was really terrified to meet Esau again because mm -hmm. the, the messengers came and said, he's coming with 400 men. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that might mean war. And uh, Jacob was very afraid, afraid and, mm -hmm. but he took the right precautions and he, he split his camp so they wouldn't all be attacked if it was an attack. Mm -hmm. And uh, he prayed and then he had the famous wrestling with the angel. And we see something happen because when when he meets does meet Esau, um, he he Esau Esau also sees something because he it says he fell on his neck and kissed him, mm -hmm. and ja and because Jacob was humbling himself before him, mm -hmm. before Esau, mm -hmm. but he fell and then Jacob says, and because I see in your face the face of God. And so even as perceived enemy, he could say, I, 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 I honor you because I can see in your face the face of God. And I think that's what he, once you start seeing that image of God in yeah. other people, even an enemy can then, with the help of God, <laughs> become a friend. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. just if we learn to honor sure. one another. Yeah. Can I do one more with you, Dave Babhe? This. So we'll take the, the yud heh vav he, and um, one of the tribes will emerge if you just put in a dalit into the name of God. And what is that? Yahuda. Mm -hmm. That's a dalit. Da. So, Yudhe Vavhe becomes Yudah, Judah. Judah. And what is a Dalit? It's a door. It's a door. The, the word of the letter Dalit means door. Mm -hmm. So it's Yehuda is putting a door into the name of God. And it was through the tribe of Judah that a door was opened into the presence of God. Which is praise which is praise. The name also means praise. Mm -hmm. And uh, who comes from the tribe of Judah? King David. King David. Mm -hmm. And who comes from the house of David? Mashiach. Mashiach. <laughs> <laughs> and what did Yeshua say? I am the door mm -hmm. to open the way to come to Hashem, mm -hmm. to come into the, the presence Father. of God, mm -hmm. come to the Father. Mm -hmm. So right there, just in the name <laughs> and one letter in the name of God, you have the whole Beautiful. salvation, redemption okay. story. Mm -hmm. So that's a little wonder of Hebrew. Uh, no. <laughs> because the word of God has been written specifically in this, in this language, because it's a creative language. And it's like, you can look so many in different ways. And it's like, I love to do it with you because mm -hmm. You can see in one way, and there is another way, and they are all beautiful. It's, yes. it's just amazing. Hebrew is, it, Hebrew is just such a, a descriptive language. Mm -hmm. it's, it's pictures, mm -hmm. it's, it's poetry. And it's numbers, if we want and to. Numbers, and numbers, exactly. There, there, there's just so much that comes into it. So, um, another one. You want another one? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I will do because now I, actually I've been doing a, 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 a course. Mm -hmm. I was invited to do a course at the Brahm Center, which is a, a center in Jerusalem, mm -hmm. uh, 
just teaching about Rosh Chodesh, mm -hmm. the Hebrew months. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very important. We're getting into he God's calendar, getting back into the biblical calendar, mm -hmm. getting in sync with mm -hmm. his timing. And um, it's for women uh, because there's something so special with for women in the, the month. I mean, the monthly cycle and, mm -hmm. you know, there, there's a lot. And we, we're finding out some wonderful things. But one of them was um, the Hebrew month. This month mm -hmm. is, do you know? E-R. E-R. Mm -hmm. E-R. And um, E-R is spelt Aleph mm -hmm. Yud Yud Resh. So Aleph, of course, is the first mm -hmm. uh, okay. letter of the alphabet. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's such a dancing letter. You know, so getting the others, it's, it's yeah. just a lovely shape. Mm -hmm. um, and Aleph stands for I. Mm -hmm. So how you say I in Hebrew? Ani. 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 So let's just write this. Ani. I. So if you're introducing yourself to somebody, you say Ani Karen or Ani Natalie. Yes. <laughs> Shalom. Naim <laughs> And <laughs> so I. Aleph. Mm -hmm. Now, Yud Yud is a short way, it's like a shorthand for Adonai mm -hmm. or for Yud Hei Vav Hei. Mm -hmm. And often you see in, in, a, in a prayer book or something, instead of doing the whole tetragrammaton, you do the two little Yuds, and that stands People for mm -hmm. the Lord. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he's saying, Ani, I am the Lord. Okay. The. Lord Adonai, God, I am the Lord, and the Rish can stand for Rofe, mm -hmm. Rofecha. What is a Rofe? The doctor. A doctor mm -hmm. or a healer. Mm -hmm. So in this month of the year, you can read, I am the Lord, your healer. And there, there's much that happens in the month where you can see how, how God is, he heals physically, but heals mentally, emotionally, and it's just always such a good reminder, Ani Adonai Rofecha, I am the Lord, your healer. Mm -hmm. I, heard, I heard somebody else speaking that this month was the, the month of healing. Of healing, yeah, yeah. and funnily enough, it, it does, it seems to... So is it because of um, like just after Passover and coming into Shavuot? Yes, that, you know, it, the it, commandments? It, it fits with the history of mm -hmm. because the, the month of Iyar is during the counting of the Omer. Mm -hmm. The Omer is the 50 days between Passover and Shavuot. Mm -hmm. And what happened when the slaves were taken out of Egypt, the first, the journey that they took from there to Mount Sinai was a time of healing. Where, where all the, the, they had to drink that bitter waters, the, um, the manna fell, which, which was the perfect, perfect food to restore their bodies to mm -hmm. full strength. And so it is. It's, it's like just historically, it's, it's a time Beautiful. of healing. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Another one? Okay. <laughs> we have the time. <laughs> we have time. Well, yeah. uh, we should finish with this one, actually. But um, Do you have reset? Do you want to speak? Oh, wait, a tiny let's bit do, about let's reset? Do, okay, let us know. We'll keep that one for last for a okay. good reason. Mm -hmm. But let me just do this one I love as well before we do. Um, we'll have 10 minutes. We have 10 minutes. Okay. Now let's just talk about this because we all men and women. Mm -hmm. And what is man in Hebrew? Ish. Ish. So we have the Aleph again, mm -hmm. the little Yud, mm -hmm. and the Sh. Sheen. Okay. So there you have ish, meaning man. Mm -hmm. Isha is woman. Whenever you have the ah at the end, it's the feminine. Because when you see a woman, you go, ah. <laughs> <laughs> They're so nice. <laughs> okay, so isha. So the you Aleph. don't have the, the, the mm -hmm. Aleph just becomes a dot underneath mm -hmm. because you're adding a letter. Hey. And what I like, they said also, Aleph is the image of God in us. 
Yes. So both, both of us have, has it. Yeah. Both have yeah. the image of mm -hmm. God. Um, so you have Ish and Isha, mm -hmm. man and woman. Now what you'll notice in Ish, you have the Yud, Yud, mm -hmm. Yud. which is uh, also for short for God. Mm -hmm. And you have the He that's different. So Ish has the Yud and Isha has the He. And what's interesting, if you put them together, you get Yud, He. Which and is. what is Yud, He? Yah, yeah. which is God. Mm -hmm. That's also the name for God. Yah, hallelujah, yeah. mm -hmm. is God. So, but if you take the Yud and the He out mm -hmm. and take God out of the relationship between the Ish and Isha, what are you left with? Ish. Ish. <laughs> <laughs> you left, you've got the Aleph Sheen, Aleph Sheen, and Aleph Sheen is fire. Nice. Ish is fire. Now, fire can be good. Mm -hmm. It can warm, it can provide fuel, you know. But in a relationship, if there's too much ish, then you've got trouble. Mm -hmm. I mean, then there's, it can destroy. It can destroy. So having God in the, the couple, picture. in the picture, mm -hmm. then you have the balance and you have the good fire. <laughs> you can, exactly. You can have the, the fire of passion. Fire of good passion. Exactly. Good fire, With, yeah. Not the, not the destructive exactly. fire. As long as the you in the hands, it's all there. It's all there. It's all there. And this again, you know, sometimes we use it, um, and I would love to see people who are doing counselling for men and women, because a lot of people don't know that, and sometimes you need to have these things deep in you, for um, you need to have it in your conscience. I mean, it needs to come into your head. Do you understand what I mean? You need, you need to know, okay, my man is not like me. We are not, we are not made the same way. But, but God put us together, and we can have a good fire between us if God, Yah, is with us. Mm -hmm. and, and we need, there is steps to know how to be with each other. And I think sometimes Hollywood is not giving the right oh, picture. Yeah. And, and I see so many people who are having trouble, who are married, not for so long, who are having trouble. Yeah, we're just going and, you know, disappeared. And it's like, no, it's, it's like, it's normal to have conflicts. Now you oh, can resolve them yeah. and you can go over them. And, and it's, it's so important, yeah. so. Because you know, the most perfect and beautiful representation mm -hmm. of God's character mm -hmm. is in when a man and a woman come together because in the creation he separated them and said now become one mm -hmm. echad. Mm -hmm. and in that joining of the masculine and feminine hearts his heart can really be shown and I think that's why there's so much today in Hollywood yeah. in everywhere to destroy that mm -hmm. that image, image again. yeah and when uh, you say echad, for me suddenly when he, he wanted us to be echad, her, yeah. her husband and wife, is like echad, what, what is the prayer that uh, the Jewish people do every day? Shema that, Israel. Exactly, that God will be echad. And it's like almost as a man and a woman, we carry God when we are together. Yeah. And because, I mean, we have friends, you know, like, the singing of divorcing and all of that, and I say, you know, you are not destroying just you. You have your children, mm -hmm. and and you are destroying. And sometimes I, I can't find, I I can't find why. But now I just discover now because you are destroying the image of God. You are destroying something of God, mm -hmm. and and you are destroying it for you and your husband, and for your and the next generation. And people say sometimes, you know, divorce is good. Okay, I know if there is violence and all this kind of things, obviously, yeah, it it, it's, it's you, different. You, it's there different. Are, there are certain sure. instances where it's destructive. I, you know, I for agree. That. But that's, that's, the, that's not the normal. No, I mean, that's, that's it. Exceptional, exactly. usually. Yeah. 
And it's so important that, you know, if there is things that are going wrong, so let us see what can be, you know, mm -hmm. done. And it's, it's yeah. very important. That but just these simple things. I yes. mean, seeing the image of God in one another, seeing this, God's the one who can bring the two together and then make a perfect, mm -hmm. be a perfect representation mm -hmm. of himself. So let us go to our <sighs> Because we have to. We're, okay, we're finished. Okay, the last one. Amen. I just love this one. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, people say, I think everyone, mm -hmm. uh, definitely in the church anyway, mm -hmm. knows some Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows three Hebrew words. What are they? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen and shalom. Most and people shalom. know what shalom mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. right? But if you look at Amen, I love this mm -hmm. because what are you saying when you say amen? I've asked people, do you know what that means? They just say, so be it. But there's so much more. It's not it's just, ah, oh, well, so be it, amen. Because it's an acronym mm -hmm. for, again, L. Oh, I'm doing cursive. L is God. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like you say, Todala L, thank God. Mm -hmm. And Mem is Melech. Mm -hmm. What is Melech? The king. king. Mm -hmm. And the noon can be Ne'eman. And from that you get the word Emunah, faith. faith. It means mm -hmm. faithful. Mm -hmm. So when you say Amen, you're saying God is a faithful king. He is a Beautiful. faithful king. And he will bring it to pass mm -hmm. because he is faithful. Mm -hmm. So that's Amen. And this is our faithful God, and He's faithful with you, and He's faithful with me, and He's faithful with you also, where, yeah. wherever you are and, and watching. And it's so important that we know that He's with us. Like you were saying, Yud He Vav He is like He was the one who was with me, is the one who is was with, with me, and is the one who will, will be with me. We always. had also a friend who was speaking with that, and it's not just that he's somewhere there. No, he's with you, and it's so important. He's, he knows your troubles, he knows your joys, and he's with you. Isn't it amazing that we'll have a God Amen. like that? <laughs> Karen, thank you again thank for you being with so us much. and bringing the treasure of the Hebrew language. And now you see, all of you, you can start to learn, or learn more and discover more and more because we have a good God and we love to serve him and to bring you some good things from the land of Israel and from Karen and from me today, we say shalom, shalom, shalom. and lots of blessing from Zion. Bye. You've been watching In The Last Days, a TV program with Martin and Natalie Blackham, the program that looks at Israel and the end times with teaching from a Hebraic perspective. If you would like to financially support the program or find out about conferences, meetings, or ministry products, then please contact us with the details on your screen. Visit our easy-to-use website at www.inthelastdays.com and register for our free e-newsletter. Get the latest news from Israel, product information, online video teaching, or watch today's TV program at a time that's convenient to you. Thank you again, friends and partners, for making this program possible. See you same time, same station for the next program from In The Last Days.